Now, you are behind this crowdfunding initiative. Boris Johnson um, kind of announced that that's what should happen in his interview a couple of days ago. How far has it got? Right, it's actually stand up for Brexit, who are a sort of mainstream Eurosceptic pressure group who are leading it. But myself and Nigel Farage and a range of others are kind of rowing in behind them, really. <coughs> I've led the sort of parliamentary end of this so far. And because it's a crowdfunding thing, you know, they're kind of spreading it literally internationally. So, so far, as of about two minutes ago, we're at just over £132,000. <coughs> so it's 500k. We're over a quarter of the way there within 24 hours. We actually launched it at 7 p.m. last night. Yeah. And we, we, we breached the 125k threshold, which was a kind of early target over an hour ago. So we're a quarter of the way there in a day. And I'm uh, based on that, and the money is flooding in. Interestingly, the average donation is £16, one six. So these aren't multi-millionaires chipping in. Uh, this is, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Blackburn or Bolton or Barnsley or wherever it may be who think that we should chime Big Ben and they're putting their money where their mouth is. We'll come on to whether it's an appropriate way to mark this um, date in a moment. But um, the Commons authorities seem rather reluctant to take your money. Well, <clears throat> it's interesting. Uh, um, we, you know, the taxpayer paid for it at New Year's Eve. The taxpayer paid for it, quite rightly, too, on Remembrance Sunday. And I, I was a minister for some years in the MOD. If the civil servants didn't want to do something, the first thing they would tell you is that you couldn't afford it. If that didn't work, they'd tell you it was technically impossible. And if that didn't work, they'd tell you it was illegal, ironically, usually by quoting some EU directive. <laughs> so, you know, I spent a great, three years in the MOD, often batting a lot of this away. So uh, I and many of my colleagues in the House of Commons are deeply sceptical that suddenly this costs half a million pounds.